She being your price has been a very touchy subject lately. It hasn't been doing a whole lot over the course of March. Obviously, now we're in April. Completely different story. Let's wipe the slate clean, guys, and see how things are looking. Now, she being you is actually starting to go through its first breakout we've seen in several weeks. And this could be a very positive sign. Hopefully, she being you can stack some of these days together. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, she being your price, you can take a look at March here. You can see it wasn't great. All right. It, for the first time in a while, was moving opposite of what BTC was doing. If you want reference to the BCT, BTC chart, here's what was going on. It was eliminating a lot of short positions. It was climbing, actually banging its head on 28K many, many times. And it looks like <clears throat> it may even be able to continue this run to the upside. Right now, I wouldn't want to be a short <laughs> against what the broader crypto market is doing. Now, here's the thing with Shiba Inu. The reason the price has been trading sideways is many have put pause to their, their trading operations. They don't know what direction Shiba Inu is going to head for here. They don't know if Shibarium is going to benefit the ecosystem in the way that people thought it was. I've always thought that that Shiba Inu, or Shibarium's uh the whole point was just creating this essentially infrastructure for people to build on, for the community to have a safe haven in, to really help, you know, contribute to the gas fee problem, the scalability issues that currently lie within Ethereum. And we're seeing that this could naturally be a place that people could go to. There's great things that are being built on it. And we're likely to see more as time goes on as well. Now, again, this is the reason why a lot of people haven't been doing much. They've been waiting for mainnet. They're waiting to see what is going to happen with Shiba Inu? Now, here's the thing. We are going through the first breakout we've seen in weeks. Okay, Shiba Inu obviously went through this big drop. You know, we were obviously up at, you know, the four zeros, one five, four zeros, one six level. And throughout the month of February, we dropped into the start of March, we dropped. And then we got into this just sideways trading, this consolidation. We got into this, this essentially uh, descending triangle here. It's not really a bull pennant or anything like that. Um, it was just kind of a kind of a neutral trading chart, right? And now we are starting to see the first breakout again we've seen in a while. Four candles out. We're actually we've had two green ones, two red ones, and we're already higher than where we were. We're about to bang our head on four zeros one one, and if we can get through that, we may be on the way to four zeros one two. And now, would I be surprised if there's a pullback as well? No, honestly. Right now, there's just not a whole lot of catalyst for Shiba Inu. The big one is going to be Shibarium. Now, there are a couple things that you need to be aware of that are happening this month. We have some reports coming out that are going to affect the broader crypto market, You know these macro factors. First one, jobs report, April 7th. Okay, It's coming up very, very quick, only six days away. That'll let us know whether you know the jobs market is cooling. If it's cooling, that's good for the crypto market. We'll see likely, likely see some pumping going on, right? Now, April 12th is the CPI data report. That, I think, is the big one, and everyone needs to pay attention because then, again, that will let us know what direction the Fed is probably going to follow in the uh, FOMC meeting in May. Now, there's no FOMC meeting this month. We have no interest rate hikes. This is a great sign for crypto, for really for all markets at this time. And then the very last thing we got to pay attention to at the very end of the month is the GDP report. Hopefully, it shows that the economy is continuing to still go the right direction. So that's all I got for you guys in this one. So just you know, hang on tight. Be prepared. Obviously, have a strategy in place. You know, This is always not financial advice. I don't know what way the charts are going to go. But hopefully, Shiba Inu continues to stack some good days together and starts to push some of these levels that haven't been broken in a little bit here. Appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely show your support below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your Saturday. Take care.